What's good, God's Vibes? Hello. Hello, hello. I hope you've been enjoying all of these episodes. We've been pumping them out over here. So if you've been touched by any of what you have listened to, will you bless us right back and rate the podcast five stars on Apple Podcasts and leave a review about how it's blessed you? That would just be such an honor to us. We do our best to make sure that we are delivering relevant, timely, impactful, practical content every single week for free to make sure that you are blessed and you can implement these things immediately. And that would be such an honor for us to receive that. It's also a beautiful gift to make sure that other people can hear about this podcast. It'll pop up on their explore page and they'll be able to plug in and get blessed just like you. So if you could take a minute, literally it takes 60 seconds, maybe less, Google the God's Vibes podcast if you have to, click on the Apple podcast link, scroll down, rate it five stars, and it will give you an option to write a review. Just write us a little review about how this has blessed you in some way and send it. And then when you do that, don't stop there. Go to julianapage.com slash podcast, and we will send you the God's Vibes Matter devotional. It's a 30-day devotional. So we will also give you that free gift as well. All right. We've got so many crazy things happening right now in the best way. So we are in right now. We are in the middle of the power of the anointing challenge. Y'all, this challenge is so powerful. Not to reuse that word, but to reuse that word. Like, I really did not know what God could do, but we have been hanging on these podcasts, on these uh, challenges, rather, because we have been doing content and training for about maybe an hour, but we have been hanging and coaching and sharing stories and testimonies, and it has been deeply impactful. We go into what the anointing is, which is often not taught. We break that down in a very clear way that that will actually make sense to you. We talk about why we need the anointing, how you get the anointing, how you release it, how you maintain it, because you can actually lose it. It could be taken from you. So we talk about the anointing from every single angle. And I think in the world that we live in where we're not sure what words like power, authority, influence, all of that means, it is so, so valuable when you can have these words broken down in a practical and experiential way that you can then take with you and apply in your life immediately. So if you want to get plugged into this challenge or even listen to these replays, we've got a way for you to do that. It is called the Courage Co. Masterclass Bundle. I promise you, if you just did one challenge, if you just participated in one masterclass, that alone would change your life if you applied what happened there. Like if you were getting blessed by this free content, level up a second and pay $197 and buy yourself every single challenge and masterclass, let alone guest interviews that we've had just for $197. You get instant access to every single one we've done and you can be a part of live upcoming challenges without even thinking about it. You're just plugged in for an entire year for $197. Y'all, I promise you we're also not going to keep it at that price, but that's where it's sitting right now. So if you want instant access and to slide right on in and get blessed, this is your opportunity to do that. (laughs) I will tell you, you probably have to pay that to go to a conference for three hours, but you are getting hours upon hour of content. You're getting access to the notes. You can listen to these replays on demand. This is actually a live community space, so it is still interactive. This isn't just like you buy a program. Like This is still very live and interactive for you. You can ask questions, get your questions answered, build community. It's a beautiful, beautiful opportunity. And if you break it down and shake it out and do some math on it, that is 50 cents a day. Hello to invest in you. I don't know where else you can do that. If you're going to pay a coach, if you're going to pay a therapist, you're definitely going to pay them around $225 an hour, something like that. So literally, (laughs) 
you're getting training, you're getting coaching, you're getting the notes, you're getting guest interviews. This is honestly a no-brainer, and I promise you we're not going to keep it at this price. So slide on in. If you're hearing this, this is for you. You can get access. It's www.courageco.org. It is the Courage Co. Masterclass Bundle. All right? Now... <laughs> The other thing that you do not want to miss out on is the God's Vibes Mastermind. We have our final round of the Mastermind launching on October 10th. Why this is important is that right now is your last opportunity to apply for the Mastermind, okay? We are going to start sending out responses to everyone that applied on the 30th. On 9.30, September 30th, we're going to start sending responses out to people who have applied on whether or not they've been accepted into the mastermind, okay? And the reason that we do this is we don't just let anybody in. Thank God for that, right? We want to make sure that this space stays sacred and safe for you to really dive deep and do the work, okay? So the mastermind, this is your last opportunity to apply for this. It is three months in length, but... The incredible part of this is is that you actually get to go through it four times from start to finish because you get access for an entire year, okay? And in the mastermind, there are actually four different modules. So you might have heard some people sharing their testimonies, and a lot of what folks have said is that they've actually learned how to apply the Bible to their life, right? And I get it. I know that's kind of the point, but strangely enough... We don't really know how to do that. So there's a whole section on investing in your relationship with God so that you can really have this relationship maybe that you've craved with God or that you didn't know that was possible or you can deepen that connection. So there's a whole section on that. Then we talk a lot about activating your identity because it's one thing to trust in yourself, but it's another thing when you've got Godfidence happening in your life and you're trusting and depending on God and you really, really are. You're not just trying to, you're actually trusting God. Your life changes when you can start recognizing that God is doing the heavy lifting. All right, so we have a whole section just on activating your identity. So you don't have to question who you are. You don't have to go chasing your authenticity. We actually, I'm going to say it this way, in case you've never heard it presented this way, but becoming your authentic self doesn't make you whole. Okay, that's a worldly thing, but actually following an authentic savior makes you whole. Okay, so we go deep in on that in the activating your identity section. Then we talk about how to increase your creative capacity because on average, we are not actually living into our potential. We're not even tapping into it, let alone activating it. We're just not. We often are living in patterns of behavior that we've learned. We're reliving experiences that we don't want to relive. We're actually not being creators of our reality. We're kind of just accepting it for what it is. So we really challenge your capacity and help you see how you can start co-creating with God and co-laboring with God, which is such a blessing, right? God doesn't have to partner with us, but he wants to. How awesome is that? So we have a whole section on that. And then we also talk about how you can expand your influence, right? You are meant to have a massive impact in the world for such a time as this. And we break that down and we make it really practical. So it's not some cerebral thing or some strange term. We actually break that down. But we don't stop there. You actually get a ton of bonuses because we're all about the spirit of generosity and blessing on blessing on blessing over here. We're not stingy, okay? And we're not... We're not about half doing anything. We do things with our whole heart and our whole self, okay? So we're giving you a whole lot of bonuses. (laughs) So one of them is called U2.0. This is a course about how you actually level up in your life. That's a great hashtag, but it doesn't mean anything unless you're living it. So we have a whole course that breaks that down. We have another course on how you can actually launch a spirit-led business because that's very different than building the world's way. So you get two free bonus courses You also get additional bonuses. You get access to the Courage Co. Masterclass bundle that I just mentioned for free, totally free. You just get instant access to that, which is great because you build community not just during the mastermind calls that happen live every single week. You get live coaching every week for the entire year. 
Hello, come on, somebody. But you can also be in the Courage Co. Masterclass bundle and still deepen that relationship with folks that are in the mastermind, right? So, so fun. We give you a ton of journal prompts and visualizations because when you journal, this is one of the best gifts that you can give yourself. You can start dreaming up your future with God. You can start walking that out with him. You don't have to keep reliving in past patterns. You don't have to be stuck focusing on what is. You can actually get excited about the good plans and purposes that God planned in advance that you might walk in them. Okay, when you start journaling, that's a beautiful way to start discovering and uncovering what God has for you with Holy Spirit giving you revelation. And we teach you how to do that. A lot of times when we journal, we think that it's just venting or pouring out a sob story, but that's not what we're doing here. So we give you journal prompts and visualizations because this is a great way to start getting out of your current reality. We also have a whole section on meditations that are guided by the word of God. So you can just experience those. And we have self-coaching. So there's a whole section on how you can start coaching yourself, start renewing your mind, start speaking what it is that you want to see. So we break that all down in the mastermind. We also personally send you the 52 card declaration deck. So we will send that your way when you enroll in the mastermind. And... And you also get to be a part of this beautiful community to grow with. You're not on this journey alone. You could make that your experience, but this is truly unique in who God has brought to this mastermind and the space and the community that's been created. It's just beautiful what can happen when you take a leap of faith and what can start happening. These connections can be for a lifetime. These can become your prayer partners. These can become deep deep friends and companions in life. These can become business partners. It's so amazing what can happen when you just say yes. So you get access to that. We also have the God's Vibes Mastermind workbook. So you can also have that sent your way as well. So there's so much goodness that keeps happening in there and you have an opportunity to get plugged in. This is your last chance to do it, okay? So if you've thought about it, if you've been putting it off, if any of what people have shared in their testimonies, I'm not telling anybody to say anything. This is literally how God is showing up. It is not random how he draws people to this mastermind and how he starts transforming their life, accelerating their life, leading them into breakthroughs, helping them really have and live their most courageous and impactful story. It's just how he works. When we give him our yes, he shows up. All right. So you are invited to be a part of that. You can experience weekly live coaching every single week around the content. And this is not one of those things where you are going to school, where you have to make sure that you're following this lesson, showing up at this time. None of that. This is very organic in a sense. It's very spirit led. So just know that if you're led here, God has something for you. And it will absolutely change your life if you receive it. Okay, so apply now. It's www.courageco.org. You will see that you can apply for the mastermind. But make sure when you get access that you actually complete the application form. Okay, actually complete the application form. If you don't do that, you didn't apply. (laughs) There's actually an application form. So make sure that you complete that application form. And we will be getting in touch with you on 9.30. We are shutting all of those applications down on Friday, 9.29. So make sure that you submit an application to get plugged in there, okay? Because when you apply and we accept you, we also give you other benefits. All right. And we will email you what those are, okay? You can also, if it's been on your heart, maybe you've never thought about this, but it's such a gift when you can do this for other people right? You can also sew into Courage Co. And that will actually go towards people getting plugged into the Courage Co. Masterclass bundle, or it will go towards a scholarship for them to be in the mastermind. So if that ever has been a question, like where can I sew into somebody else's development and pay it forward for them? That's a way that you can do that. You can do that inside Courage Co. There's a link to sew into Courage Co. All right, so there are some updates. Today we have an interview with Evelyn, and you guys are going to fall in love with her. She is so gracious in how she shares her testimony. There are so many pearls of wisdom in this episode that you do not want to miss. 
And it, you will likely relate to her journey in a lot of ways. Some of the questions, some of the challenges, some of the things that she's had to overcome are very relatable. And how she's navigated them is nothing less than courageous. So as you listen to this story, she will also share about her God's Vibes Mastermind experience. So you'll hear it from her, not from me. And, and really uh, about how God moves in your life. When you get out of the way and you give him the right away, he has no limits and he will truly blow your mind and do beyond what you can think or imagine. But you at least got to start thinking and imagining some things, okay? You got to give God something to work with. So without further ado, let's dive into this episode. Welcome, Evelyn, to the God's Fives podcast. Thank you. I am so glad to be here. It's so cool. This is so fun. I'm so excited to have you here and have you share. But tell tell the folks who Evelyn is. I am Evelyn Isabel. It's kind of what I go by these days. Named my business Evelyn Isabel, which is my first and middle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I am a beautician. I've been in the beauty industry for 12 plus years, and I've done a little bit of everything. Started off as a hairstylist. Um, you know, makeup artist and turned into a brow queen and esthetician, a uh, skin expert. Yeah. So yeah, I just take care of people, make them pretty and try to share the, share the love, you know? Yeah. I love that. I, that's so fascinating too. I'm just even sensing like in the past 12 years, like how much the beauty industry has changed in general. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> so just much. The ability to adapt and like, you know, catch whatever the, the trends are, the desires are. It's just wild. Yeah. It, it definitely, it is crazy. And it's such a growing industry right now. But even microblading, I'm a microblader that's yeah. kind of claim to fame right now. And, um, that, you know, six years ago when I started that, it was a whole nother animal. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of cool, you know, lots of people getting into it and yeah. And even your ability to ride the wave of that, right. I think it's just phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's not for the faint of heart. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm curious too, cause you just said that you make people beautiful, but I really feel like what you truly do is enhance their beauty, right? Like you help yes. them actually see and find it. And then this is just yes. extra, right? So yeah. talk to me about that. Cause I feel like people might not know what they get when they get you. And there's this beautiful warrior, godlike woman in you that they don't even know until they actually encounter you. And they're like, wait, 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 what is this? There's something different, like what's happening here. So can you unpack a bit of your God journey and how that's brought you to incorporate God in a lot of what you do too? Absolutely. So yeah, yeah it's funny. I feel like I'm very people. I love to surprise people yeah. with who I am. You know, it's like, I have an armful of tattoos, but I don't even like know that like that doesn't like register in my head when people are meeting me. So I laugh because sometimes, you know, who knows, like outward yeah. appearances are, are a lot, you know? Yeah. Um, so my chair is definitely my pulpit and awesome. I have gained that over the years, like, it's just something I can't contain. Like I can't hold in. Um, especially if I'm learning something with God in the moment he's walking with me, then it's like, he always brings me those people who are walking through something similar, or like I've been through that in the past yeah. or, and it's so cool because I get to just like speak life into people and, you know, uh, I'm, I'm grateful to do that, but I, have seen the grace of God so big in my life because, you know, I used to live a totally different kind of, you know, life. I was a hardcore drug addict and alcoholic, um, yeah. you know, in my teenage and then like young adult years. And I got clean and sober about 10 years ago when I was, uh, 23, um, 32 yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And he, like, I was, God was with me the whole time and I've always been a believer, but it wasn't like, literally since you can like, remember, like as a young girl, you still believe. <clears throat> yeah. I've always been, oh. I like live, I'm a very spiritual person because I've always like felt the spirit, um, you know? So yeah, I feel like I knew the Holy spirit before I really knew what, yeah. it all meant. And, you know, Jesus yeah. died on the cross for my sins and everything. Um, 
Yeah. I just have always felt that, you know, presence. So yeah. Um, so you felt yeah. it like as a young age, you always felt that presence, but yet you still went down a path that maybe you knew wasn't yeah. like the highest path for your life. So kind of what was happening there? Cause I know in yeah. like my story, it was very similar too, where I could feel the presence of God, but I didn't have the trust to listen. Like that yeah. felt like to the world, that would be foolish to yeah. listen to yourself. Like you have to do the wise or the responsible thing. Right. So that yeah. taught me to not listen. So I'm just curious for you, you had that presence yet. You didn't really listen to it. Right. Cause the presence never leads you into a place. that's not good for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny because I had, I was kind of taught my whole life by the world and, you know, parents and whatever, but definitely from the way I naturally operate, yeah. I learned to not trust myself, to not listen to myself that I was a, you know, whatever, a dreamer the, or a, you know, I lived in another reality or yeah. whatever, but yeah. it's like, I was just like knew there was possibility. So yeah. Um, I think I just, that kind of broke me down. And when I found, uh, something that would take that away from me, I guess that feeling of being misplaced or the black sheep or, um, you know, unheard or seen, I found that in, you know, drugs and alcohol. And so, you know, obviously that just takes you into a whole nother, um, the, yeah. the people who surround you and the places you go and, and everything, um, when you let your guard down that much and you're, you know, using substances, then you can go to some pretty dark places. And it's amazing that I'm alive. First of all. Yeah. Um, it really is incredible. God has <laughs> some plans for me because, uh, yeah, I would, I would not be here, Yeah. but the, and just some of the, you know, things that I got myself into it's, um, he, he was always there, but I was not listening. And it's like, I think I've kind of took advantage of the fact that God it's like, but, but I also, I didn't know how, yeah. but I didn't know how to like, yeah. let him lead me because yeah. I was broken. I was, I was a small, broken girl who was, you know, in extremely abusive relationships and yeah. running away from running away from myself, I guess. And yeah. so finally, when I kind of got the memo, uh, it was like immediately he just picked me up and set me on a solid rock. So, wow. Can you explain a little bit like what that was like when you finally got it? Yeah. Uh, and I finally got it. Well. Or at least like you had the desire now to listen, like, let's put it that yeah. way. Like, Cause we never yeah. like arrive anywhere, but like yeah. you, you can at least decide, love. like, I'm going to follow this path versus I'm going to continue in my own way. Yes. And I had, I did have a very serious choice. I am a mother and um, my daughter is 12. And so I actually, I didn't get clean and sober until she was around two years old. My parents have been a huge, amazing part of her life. Um, yeah. and like, I mean, it's just crazy. Like God blesses me even in my most broken, you know, weakness, but I had a choice. It was like, you know, am I gonna live out this life of, you know, not being worthy and, you know, not being able to get out and all these excuses, or am I going to just do the hard work, whatever that meant. Yeah. Um, and so I chose that. And, uh, it's funny cause the things that came into place for me to get, um, the help that God wanted me to have, yeah. uh, some funny things had to happen. So, you know, uh, like, <laughs> getting arrested and uh going to a 11 month rehab that was like lock up uh you know most people wouldn't see that as like a blessing but it's like I knew it from the moment that I even heard about this place that I wanted to go um 
yeah. that it was going to be something, you know, miraculous. And in that time, I got away from, you know, the loudness and all that. And I got to learn what it was like to hear myself, um, what I liked and, you know, where, how worthy I was to Mm -hmm. get out of this cycle. You know, it's very, very uncommon for people to get out of that lifestyle. And that makes me sad, you know, but, um, I just, I didn't want to be a drug addict (laughs) my whole life, you know, Uh, I knew things were better and bigger and, you know, I wanted to be my daughter's mother. Yeah. So the love of God and that grace is what just filled me. Um, you know, the fact that I was so loved that I could just make the decision to not live that way. And it was like, you know, here's all these possibilities and opportunities to, you know, have love and worthiness and success. That's, that's pretty awesome. So I guess I grasped, um, the, the grace and the mercy and the love of God. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm yours, man. Like I am, I will do, I will live my life for you. I used to pray in rehab. I would like, like kneel, uh, at night and pray to God and talk to him. And I just remember vividly this one night, but I prayed this prayer over and over again. Um, makes me emotional, but to be, you know, like, just use me. Yeah. Use me, whatever that means. And, you know, he's, he's doing it. So. Yeah. So beautiful. And I love that you were able to explain this because not everybody sees it from that perspective, right? When, when you have all these things happen, like getting arrested or going to, you know, a lockup situation, right? Where you're like a captive audience, literally. (laughs) Not everybody sees that as a blessing or especially for people that love you on the outside, that could be really scary and intimidating. But I love that God revealed to you that this, even that is his mercy. Even that is his love for you because he knows you. He knows how you're wired. He knows what you've been under the influence of or what it's going to take to break certain influences off of you and how long that would take too. And it's just a really, really beautiful process because of what you were able to receive yeah and what you were able to access because you were so open to that and then from there it sounds like you were on a very different mission now so what started to happen after that (laughs) yeah you know it's great like I it's like my mission was literally like I'm going to hell who's coming with me even though I didn't want to go to hell I mean that's not what I wanted to do I wanted to be you know with God but I don't know you just make the wrong decision over and over again. And, um, I'm like, okay, well, you know, throw the baby out with the bath water and yeah. be bad or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, coming into like this new life on the outside of that, um, it was all about, I mean, I was like probably annoying. Cause I was like a you know, Jesus freak, like, you know, Bible thumper, like, you know, um, all this, but, but it was really cool. And, um, I think like over the years, I've definitely just gained more knowledge in, in him and, and what, you know, it looks like to live my life out, um, with him. And, you know, I didn't necessarily have to go to the seminary and, totally yeah, pastor even though I was like that's kind of what I thought I was gonna do yeah um, but you know it's like he took what I loved and what he created me to do and turned it into something I can you know I can use as a platform yeah uh, to just love people and yeah. let them know that you know somebody's listening and and watching and sometimes I need that more than they do yeah <laughs> I'm talking about you know yeah um, so unpack that for people because I think that that's that's sort of a dream that a lot of people have in their heart that or or even something that feels like a stretch they don't think is possible that God can take literally how he wired you and these 
talents, these dreams, these desires, and turn that into something that will totally glorify him. People are like, that's the sweet spot. Like, how do we actually like get to that? So can you unpack how he started guiding you into that and equipping you to do what you do today? So gracefully, yeah. so easily, yeah. right? This is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> yes, I was always like, I was always the, I've been fixing hairstyles and putting makeup on and, you know, doing all the beauty stuff and styling fashions and everything since I was like in elementary school. So, yeah. you know, I always loved that kind of thing. And I thought for sure I was going to be a hairdresser, you know, so I went to school and did that and was a hairdresser for a few years and loved it. But actually when I made a switch of career path was after I got out of rehab because I just wanted something um, new, but it's funny because I was deciding whether or not to stay in uh, the city that I went to treatment at, because if I stayed for another year in this transitional house, I met this amazing lady who does amazing things called Haven Homes. Um, and they've grown so much since I was like in the first house that they had, but um, she took one, women from coming out of this treatment center and gave them, you know, the opportunity to, you know, just get back into the real world, but have, you know, have women behind you supporting you and godly influence and all that kind of stuff. And I'm trying to make this decision because, you know, I had a daughter and I'm like, that's immediately what I'm thinking. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to get out and prove, you know, to the whole world that I'm, you know, worthy of being this little girl's mom and, um, you know, just eager to like get into that role because I had, you know, failed a lot of ways before. Yeah. Um, but we're driving around. We used to like take out trash or whatever, bring it to the trash place. And um, once you are at a certain level, you could like go outside <laughs> into the yeah. real world. <laughs> and um, we were driving around. I had always worked at Ulta, mm -hmm. not always, but in that like I'd move towns and I would work at Ulta. Mm -hmm. They always treated me good. And they were like building an Ulta as I'm like praying what am I supposed to do? You know, should I stay here or whatever? And it was like, stay here. I've got a job for you. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, yeah. And they, I wanted to do something different other than here. Um, and they needed somebody to open the brow bar, which is hilarious because I was like, that's a big, no, I will like have a panic attack and start sweating. If you ask me to wax your eyebrows, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, and they were like, trust us, trust us. Just, you know, train with this girl. She's the best in the nation. And I'm like, okay. And day one, I was like, I'm the brow whisperer. This is like my thing. So something I never would have, I know it was like, God made that, you know, path for me. And, uh, then in that another, one of these circumstances, I got extreme, like chronic and severe cystic acne mm -hmm. and it was miserable. It was horrible. I mean, worst thing in the world, I would sit in the mirror for hours picking at my skin and, you know, just loathing myself. So it was like mind, body, everything, just sadness, but it made me go see an esthetician and learn about skin. And instead of taking these antibiotics or Accutane or whatever, yeah. I was just did a bunch of research and found a more holistic approach and, uh, trained with some different companies and I became an esthetician. So amazing. <laughs> yeah. So it's fun. like, we're going to learn all facets of this. We're going to help you with the brows, the face, yeah. like all things. I know it's crazy. So I really, it's like, I have a lot of experience in this, um, industry. And actually I started, I started my business about four years ago and it's been a, definitely a roller coaster since doing that. Cause you know, entrepreneurship is hard. You don't learn about 89 things, you know, lessons of life 
yeah. unless you become an entrepreneur, you know, and then it's like, they're all at once. And, <laughs> Literally. Uh, and they're not, yeah, it, it's a lot, but you know, I try to do everything myself and like, just in life in general, it's like, that's my lesson that, you know, God wants me to learn is how to work with others and, you know, have a team and not control things and trust and, and all that. So I'm learning that for sure. But it kind of took me away from like, I got so caught up in the business and how to be like the perfect business owner and like grow and scale my business and all this. It's like, I kind of lost this um, confidence, I guess, and courage in like myself and the contentment in what I was doing and that I was doing it for others. Like I was serving others and it kind of became about me and it was like money and, you know, like success. And even though I know God wants that for me, especially if I have dreams and aspirations to it, I know he's given me those, but when it comes to me getting there on my own, climb that mountain all by myself or, you know, letting it unfold. I've obviously been proven in this life that God will make a way and he's on my side and he's going to be the one doing, you know, the, yeah, doing the things that, you know, are impossible. And I'm just supposed to be over here being good at what's right in front of me. Yeah. So good. So tell, how did you get into this sphere? Like what happened in that journey? Cause you're, you're now in the God's vibes mastermind, right. And inside courage co like, how did, yeah. how did this become a part of your journey? Or like, what was that like for you? Cause I, I think it's one thing to know that you can't do something mm-hmm. by yourself and God did design you to do that, but then he actually guides you into different things to support you on your journey, but it is on you to decide to leap. So I'm curious what that journey has been and how you got over here (laughs) yeah oh my gosh well uh without taking an hour and a half and a sob story uh let's just say I had a few lessons I really needed to learn not like you know I'm learning this lesson God's teaching me a lesson it's not like that it's like this life way like this way about how I live and you know and and think uh and everything I had to learn some big things about myself and you know I've always been a mind person my mind's always going I'm I've got a lot of power up here you know yeah um (laughs) and it works against me if I let it yeah um but I was just like searching for it's like I immediately had success with my business and it was like I went from a person who never wanted money I went I didn't want um you know anything I've never been really materialistic believe it or not uh <laughs> um, and like I wanted to live like on a commune and be a barefooted hippie you know my whole life and like trade you know, haircuts or whatever, live on a beach without (laughs) AC, something. Um, but then, you know, I started this business because another thing of blessing in disguise, I got let go from the job that I had, uh, right before I started my business. Mm. Um, and it was just kind of hilarious because then I immediately had to jump into something else and start a business, which I had been talking about doing forever. Yeah. And it was like, immediately God took my efforts and my courage. And, um, you know, I say I built a six figure business overnight, but it was more like two weeks and, (laughs) you know, it was just awesome. But then with all that, with all that, I, I didn't know what to do with it. I, you know, thought, oh, this is the next step. And I started listening to all these business people and I started reading all these business books and all that. Um, and yeah, I just was like trying to follow this path of these other people who say, this is how you have success, or this is how you scale your business or whatever. And so, you know, I spent a lot of money on different coaches and all that kind of stuff. 
um, really to come to find out that I wasn't aligned with what, you know, they were um, asking of me. And it made it really hard for me because then I thought, well, I guess I'm just defective, you know, so that hurt in my mental space and everything. So I went through a lot of depression and um, it was just really hard. And so one day I'm searching on, I was like having one of those moments and I searched on podcasts like mental health, um, Jesus, or like God, or like biblical mental health or something. Yeah. And, and I think like the actual issue I was thinking I needed, you know, relief from, and I found your, I was going through all the different ones and I found yours. It just spoke to me. I don't remember which one. Yeah. And if I, oh my gosh, like when I started listening to your podcast, I listened to a lot of podcasts and a lot of stuff, you know, yeah. um, and it was just like the way that you spoke about making the Bible applicable in life. It was like, I mean, which is what, like, that's what the Bible's for, right? Like, right. Live. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he yeah. gives it to us. And yeah. it's like, we are like, yeah, yeah, that's great. And then we set aside and we do, uh, what, you know, the world tells us to do. Yeah. Or our parents or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was just like, it, it really spoke to me and it, it, it helped me have a little, you know, make it to the next day, I guess. And yeah, I was listening, you know, over the days and, and weeks and it was helping me so much put into practice, you know, what I always learned before with God yeah. and then the God's mind, mastermind, but God's by mastermind. I was like, well, there's no way yeah. I can do it because I've spent all this money. I'm, you know, barely paying my bills and yeah. all this stuff and, yeah. you know, working through all this business debt and whatever. Yeah. And then I don't know. I was just like, well, maybe I'll just try or maybe I'll see, I needed to find out how much it was. And then I found out how much it was. And I was like, Oh, okay, well that's doable because, um, wow, she's giving away. I get so much out of her podcast. <laughs> like I get more out of your pot, one episode of a podcast in every area of my life than I did, you know, $15,000 of coaching yeah. that you know, whatever. So I was yeah. like, okay, I'm just going to go for it yeah, and make it work. And it was really, yeah, I've just, it, it, it's been pretty amazing being a part of yeah. um, this community that you've built and just the lesson that, you know, the lessons and, and everything that I've gained from it, it, it got me to a place that I actually wanted to like be in. I was, I was really struggling, really, really struggling. And I didn't feel like I had community at all. Yeah. So it like, just by teaching me how to get back into my word and yeah. like use it as my playbook like I don't need to listen to all these other people telling me what to do I don't need to listen to you know my whatever negative thoughts or anything all I have to do is just listen to this book to the best I can and yeah. um you know try to move forward and and it's been really cool to yeah. to be a that's amazing and I want to highlight too because this is actually a common theme and it's also why we're we're now allowing people to get into a certification program in January, right? Just because the coaching industry right now is, I, I do believe that it's going to take a place where people are recognizing that mental health is really important and they're investing in therapy. They're going to start recognizing too, that coaching like is in step with therapy, right? And it's just as important and it has its own lane. However, right. When you have 
different industries, like there's the good and the bad. And sometimes you have to go through a lot of bad to get the good. And that's true of any industry, but for what you did and what you experienced, you demonstrated a massive amount of courage, right? To have this huge pain point that led you straight into your worst fears and like traumas and pains about yourself and debt not just like That's exactly what it was <laughs> like not just like debt as a human right like debt in your soul like debt in your mind debt in your emotion like literally like debt in you to this place of feeling like unworthy and lack and all of that but also in your finances now you're like am I going to do it again because yeah. inevitably you do have these like really heavy weighty fears like oh is this gonna be like the last program or is I, am I gonna like learn that I'm like a fool yeah. again, or am I gonna yeah. be in more debt like those are really real things that I can imagine were bouncing in your being right that you still said no this is God and I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna make it work or he's gonna make it work for me whatever it was but can you unpack that for people because I feel like this is way more common than we think that people are literally unfortunately getting in the hands of, I would hope well-meaning people, but I often give the visual of like holding a heart like this and then just dropping it. Yeah. These yeah. People are, these people are dropping people and it, it makes me righteously angry to be honest with you, but this is becoming more and more common that people are about success, quote unquote, whatever that looks like and about their platform, their image, their money, their whatever at the sake of like other people, like you're literally breaking people and this is not a good thing. So what was it for you and what was that jump that you took this leap of faith that you took what happened for you that allowed you to do what not a normal person would do <laughs> and take this leap again well i'm not a normal person right uh, <laughs> so there's that <laughs> as much as i would like to be sometimes oh my uh, god <laughs> i wouldn't trade my crazy you know for for the world um yeah. So lots of that, because just like you said, literally my worst fears, um, you know, beliefs, like all, all these things, it couldn't, you know, have gotten worse basically yeah. like without, you know, not breathing. Yeah. Um, yeah. and so here I go again, wanting to do another thing that I'm just gonna, you know, Cause that's the thing. Like I was listening to all these people doing all these things, buying all these courses, all this. Yeah. And so, okay. Am I just falling into the same pattern? Yes. And obviously since it was God's vibes, you know, this is going to be a little different. Right. And I'm already getting so much, so much stuff from just the free content. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, it was just kind of obvious, I guess, um, that this was different and that you like, you know, it gave me discernment for your heart and what you're doing, especially with your price, because I was like, there's no way she's like giving uh, it away like this. Yeah. Um, and I even thought to myself, like, wow she really needs to go up. Like I need to, yeah. you know, tell her or whatever, like she should do this <laughs> for more. Like I can't imagine ever charging only that much or whatever for my, you know, hard work. And, sure. um, and I, it, it's just, it, it's blown my mind with the way that you live it out. And this thing that you want to help others gain, um, it really is more about the the person that you're serving and like God honors that. And it's so obvious with, it's so obvious with you. And so that was definitely a breath of fresh air because yes, I think all the success in the world is great. People want it. People get it sometimes, but in the coaching world, there's a lot of really, really high up coaches that, you know, there's no way they can pay attention to all the people or whatever that, you know, they've got, um, in their net. And yeah, the fact that I knew it was going to be personal, I knew that, you know, I was going to be with you. I had been to some of those little, um, other classes that you do. Yeah. And yeah. 
yeah, for me, I don't know. Um, I think I listened to a couple of people doing a podcast that had been through it yeah. and I just felt a peace uh, because that was the thing. I, I never had peace when I was, you know, clicking by or whatever, or signing up for this other thing. I, I didn't have peace. I had scarcity and I had desperation and, um, yeah, just like hanging on by a thread, white knuckling it. And I, I had peace. I prayed about it. I actually prayed about it before I did it, you know, um, funny how that works, but yeah. And I had peace. So, um, that was a decision that has helped me now in the previous months, um, since doing it, learn how to pause and not act out of desperation or scarcity and it's like yeah bringing me back to a place of total trust with god yeah. um i i needed a lot of help getting back there yeah and yeah and it's so fascinating that god will package it in a way that you don't expect <laughs> so i yeah. love you just gave people some parameters, some guidelines, right. That are principled. So they can actually assess like, is this God, is this for me? Is this a good thing? Or is this actually a God thing? Like if I give this, yes, is this going to give me a return on my investment or give me more than I even know to ask for? Is this going to sink me? Because truly, if we don't use that discernment or that wisdom or pray about it, and if we don't have peace, we really should not make that kind of commitment. Right. Yeah. When God is on it, it sounds like you can attest to this. He gives you way more than you pay for. Mm -hmm. Like way, way more. more. Yeah. yeah. And he'll just keep validating you as you go through a thing. But he, if he's not on it, and I've been here too, similar story of investing in all sorts of things, thinking that was what you do. And it was really not a wise thing to do. But yeah, when God, but that's how we learned that though, too. You know, it's like yeah. in the way that you care for the people that you're serving, it just... <sighs> it's all meant, you know, it's all, it's all for good, but all of it, all of it. And I just think it's important. Like, so for people to consider, it's like, what is it that you are craving? What is it that you desire? What is it that you need? How is it that you learn? Right. Because for some people, maybe they want to buy a course and just like tinker with something and, and be good. Right. Other people, maybe they want that one-on-one -on -one interaction, right? Like mm -hmm. I'm somebody that if I can't interact with the person, I probably don't want to do their program. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it's, yeah. it's really on you. It's up to you. Like, what is it that you need? How are you going to learn? And is this a match for it? Cause if it is, that'll help you bypass all of the challenges, which will be there every time, right? Mm -hmm. Like the money, the time commitment, the return on investment, you're going to have those questions no matter what, but if you have the answers to everything it is that you're craving, then your yes is that much more valuable. Yeah. It's that much more solid. And I'm curious yeah. to hear from you too. Like when you get in there and you don't, maybe you don't fully know what it is that you're signing up for. Cause I know that's happened. To yeah. Her. I was like, <laughs> I, th I think like she's marketing this as like business, like yeah. coaching, but like, I know it's like m more like, you know, it's like, I obviously got it. Like I'm a, you know, Jesus girl. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be yeah. biblical application and using yeah. it for whatever area of my life. But it yeah. was funny. Cause yeah, I was like, well, I don't really know how this is going to help with my business, but I know I need to put God first and I know I want him back on yeah. the throne. So I yeah. guess I'll, you know, yeah, go with it. And yeah, it's funny. Cause it is, um, it's applicable for all areas of our life because you can't have any success in or sustainable, you know, I'm all about sustainability. Now it's like, how do I build success, but sustainable? Yeah. Um, same thing with my clients. Like, how do we give yeah. you this look or, you know, I'm a microblader. So, uh, you know, how do we make your brows look amazing right now, but also yeah. look amazing in 10 years and not like, you know, yeah, bad, um, <laughs> you know, by Probably. only caring about like what happens next week. Yeah. Um, it's so good. Yeah, so yeah, it's been. Uh, so that's what I'm curious. So like, if you could describe it in your experience, what it's been like for you, because other people, right. It's been pivotal to their 
identity maybe, or it's been getting them back into relationship with God or actually experiencing that for the first time or up leveling their business in a way that he is leading and guiding. And they know without a doubt in their mind that this is God's strategy, not their strategy, or even how to step out and really take a leap in a huge way in their life or how to get through toxic relationship patterns and cycles or how to like step out into a relationship after you've been hurt. Like it covers so many things. So I'm curious what your actual journey has been like in there. Um, a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, going into it, I thought that business and was my ultimate, you know, whatever I was struggling with and what I needed help with, like the strategy. Yeah. That's what I thought. But, (laughs) um, yeah, it's been so much bigger than that. Obviously, I had a lot to learn about myself and God and what he has for me now and in the future and like the yeah. people in my life and the relationships and my close loved ones and just my isolation and, you know, or how I'm interacting with the world. Um, That definitely is what it has helped me, which has helped in my business. I mean, it, I, number one, it just got God back on the throne. And even if I wasn't like, you know, um, big into, if I didn't really know that I'm like, you know, obsessed with Jesus and I want to like live my life out teaching his ways. Um, it it's, it's just bigger than that. I guess it's not like, religious, you know, um, and it's just learning to have this deeper relationship with God, which ultimately is the relationship with yourself, because it's like the relationship you have with, you know, your creator and what you believe is like, if you believe you're being, you know, puppeteered or whatever, then, you you know, you're going to look at yourself that way. And, um, you know, or if you believe that, I have a God who knows everything about me and still chooses me and desires for me to have, you know, my visions and dreams come true. And if it's not what I really think is going to happen and something else happens, then he knows best. And just like having that trust. So, um, for me, it's definitely been, um, how to treat myself and how to think of, of God and how do I act as if what I believe is true because I that's what I I said I believed things and I wondered why things were so hard but I wasn't acting like I really believed those things that I was loved and that I was worthy and that you know the people around me deserved love and kindness um so so good and it's almost like the actual faith gap we talk a lot about. I was just talking to somebody about this as well. And I think you embody this where it's, you know, this is what I desire. This is what I believe is possible. And I often teach it's this or something better so that you hold it loosely without like suffocating that thing or like white knuckling it. But if that's the case, then you live like it's done. Like if God said it was done, then it's done. And like, if it is actually done, how you show up is very different now in the, the walking out of that journey, right? Like if you already have, I don't know, whatever the financial number is, or if you already have the set number of clients, or if you already have the level of success, whatever that picture is that God has given you, if you have that today, you would be showing up very different than if you were trying to pursue it, if you were desperate for it, or if you're like trying to grasp for that thing, right? You're not it's so true. The temptation or the struggles that, that come with pursuing a thing that is not God, right? Because we often pursue the outcome and God says, pursue yeah. the kingdom. Right? That's so exactly first, not all this stuff. And when yeah. you get it, then all that stuff comes. So it's like, if you already believe and live like it's done, then you show up as a very centered, peaceful, content person that can express the fullness of what God has for you a moment yeah. at a time. But if you miss that, then you start trying to chase things and get caught up in all sorts of craziness that was never meant for you. And we can live that way our entire life, which is the crazy part. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could live yeah. in my own little <laughs> circle, like, you know, 
for sure running around, around, around um sure something's got to be bigger than me and yeah it's actually I mean you know you worked with at uh celebrate recovery oh, helping people and stuff which is so cool um I noticed that you kind of attract people who have you know that in their life too which I think is yeah. pretty amazing because you know naturally uh you know an alcoholic or addict is restless irritable and discontent and we have to learn how to put God in, you know, and in the program, it's like, it's whatever your higher power is. But it's funny because I learned in the program that um, God has no limits and he will not be put in a box, um, you know, because the church says so or whatever. And he loves the church. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just um, pretty cool. But I totally forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> no, if you're, you're living, about it, something, if you're living like, like it's done, left. right? Like if you're living like yes. it's done. Yeah. So I needed to learn that, um, big time because I was not believe I was not, not, not acting like it. I was holding on for a dear life. And I was like, you know, if I don't make it happen, it won't happen. Right. And right. I am still learning that. That is still, I'm learning how to, yeah. how to trust and how to surrender. And then like, but what do I do? You know, like, what do I do over here? What do I think? What do I do? What I, you know, say, believe uh, while I'm letting, you know, God yeah. do the heavy work. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's yeah. it. We call it, we call it faith walking, right? Because what you're describing and it's, you know, I, I attract to me and I love that you're highlighting that, like observing it too. It's, you kind of attract whatever you were before God. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like if you were traumatized or if you were anxious and I call that future tripping, if you were, um, desperate, like de deeply searching for answers, if you didn't have an identity and we're having an, a, you know, an imposter syndrome or an identity crisis, if you were lonely, if you didn't have solid relationships and friendships, like all of that will be brought into God's solution for all of those things, right? Like if you were a struggling entrepreneur, God will teach you how to be a successful one with him. Cause that is, he delights in prospering his servants. Like that is truly something that you can know in your brain, but it's gotta be something you own in your heart. And you yeah. can't own that in your heart if you don't know your your creator, the God that wants this for you, right? Because there's a process to everything that he's doing. And that's what makes it sustainable. If you don't yes. go through that process. Don't try to rush the, yeah. try to rush the outcome, okay. you know, beat everybody else to the, to the finish line because God's way is so much gooder. Yes. So much, you know, <laughs> better. Uh, and that's totally what, yeah. It's been, I've, I've learned the most about, um, yeah, how to, how yeah. to faith walk and, yeah. um, believe, you know, he has goodness for me and I'm not going to be able to sustain anything just like I wasn't able to sustain, you know, a certain way of running my business, um, that in the bank account looked good, but on, you know, I was worn so thin and, totally burnt out and so yeah. he's teaching me you you know how to have success the way that you know plays out for me and that those things can happen but these are the things you need to make sure you're doing you know is taking care of yourself yeah. and taking care of the ones that you love that are closest to you not just you know everybody else yeah um, yeah. And just what do you, I guess it's kind of cool because I didn't value what I wanted before. And I'm, I'm learning to that God values what I want. Yes. And yeah, I don't know. I'm like, yeah. you're the guy I'm just following. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I think when you actually get that into your spirit, that God wants you to be a thriving healthy, whole mm -hmm. human more than you do. Like God truly wants that for you. So if you actually can embrace that, that you might not understand everything, but God is always good, right? Because mm -hmm. if you just see a God that's sort of like a dictator, then it's almost like you just have to be a rule follower. But if you know that he's good, then you can 
trust that whatever process he has you on, even the crazy parts of your journey, that that was all part of his purpose to make yeah. you a healthy whole human that can thrive in life. That's truly what he desires. Because when you think about your testimony, right? Like what's, what's a really vibrant example of what's possible with him? You being super de depressed and strung out. Like that's not really a great testimony of what's possible with God. Yeah. Right. But if you can overcome that and like turn over here and look like that never even happened to you. Hello. Like God can really share something through that story and you can minister to people every time they're in your chair. Like what? Yeah. This is yeah. crazy. You know, I feel so lucky and like, I just feel like I am like God's special little, like I'm Peter, the one, you know, he likes yeah. the most whatever. And, I'm not um, favorite, but you are too. <laughs> I'm just favorite, but everybody else is too. But I just yeah. like, I feel the tenderness and like joy yeah. that God has like when, you know, looking at me or, or, or whatever, and seeing my life and like holding me in the times where I'm like, I don't know what is going to work out. And I'd rather just be with him right now, you know? Um, yeah. but it's like, I, I feel special because I do, I've been dealt the, the hard ones yeah. and, you know, a lot of it was my doing, um, yeah. But it was stuff I need, you know, need to learn. And some of that I couldn't have stopped. It wasn't because I was just selfish and, yeah. you know, wanted, yeah. you know, to screw everybody else and their feelings and whatever. And I just wanted to live my own way. No, I was like her. And yeah. um, the fact that I've got to learn the hardest lessons and then in business too, I wanted to become a business coach and help other people. So, you know, guess what happened? Oh, I learned what <laughs> to help I other do. people with. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, you know, what, how, how am I going to know how to help others? If I really want God to use me, um, you know, be a light and in a, in a scale, you know, in a massive scale, um, if I want to touch that many lives with my life, then things are, gonna have to be you know pretty moving so yeah, yeah. or you've got to be healthy right because he's so yeah. faithful that he's not going to give you more than you can bear he's not going to give you something that's going to totally crush you or yeah. throw you back into a broken place like that is not his highest good or plan for your life right like we might force that into being right like I joke like God right. will give you like you go buy a puzzle from a store You'll have the puzzle it has the picture on there and you're like, oh, yay, this will be so beautiful to like have happen. Then you start putting the puzzle together and we like jam pieces into like position and we try to make this image happen. But it's like mm -hmm. he has his unique way of getting you into this manifestation of what he showed you. Yeah. And you can either cooperate and partner with him in that or not. <laughs> yeah. Co-creating. Right? That's, Co that's what it. I've gained in, you know, the God's yeah. Vibes Mastermind. It definitely yeah. is is co-creating with, yes. with God. And it's That's just it. a new fresh way of, you know, thinking about it, that it gives me my part and it, yeah. you know, gives God his part. And like, we're doing this together. So, yeah. you know, That's the beauty of what you were just describing, right? Head. Like he could use anybody, but he wants to build with you. Yeah. Right? He doesn't just want to use you right? Because he's not yeah. like a manipulator or an abuser in that way. Yeah. He's not that. But he does want to build with you and he wants to do life with you. And yeah. life is so much sweeter that way. And like when you're depending on him, that's the greatest way for his power to flow through you. Yeah. You can't when we're not, right? Like if we don't have God, his power isn't flowing through us, mm -hmm. right? It's on us. But when we're building with him, like he's building it and it'll be solid. But unless we're actually leaning on him and trusting him and throwing this into him, committing our way to him, then we're not going to see him in it. But if we do, he'll be all over that thing. Yeah. Right. And he'll, he'll express himself in really unique ways, which is why I love how he's showing up through you right now. Right. He's using every single part of your story mm -hmm. and everything that's like that yeah. you find beautiful. He's using all of it and like mixing it together and just letting you play in it. Yeah. If he man yeah if he can turn me and my life and my you know <laughs> what goes on in here what goes on in my head um 
it can get really dangerous in there. And it's always been very lonely to yeah. be in there by myself. And, yeah. you know, if he can transform that, um, then he can literally do anything. That's it. And then the beautiful thing too, even in you being able to reflect on your journey to, to date, right? It's like, if God brought you through all of it and to it, he's going to see you through what's next. Right. Like he doesn't bring you to some place to drop you. Like that's not how God works ever. Right. Mm -hmm. He brings you through levels. There's always levels to this. And when you're ready for the next one, that's your graduation. You get your next level, (laughs) your next challenge, your next, you know, growth journey in him. That's what happens when you pass the test with him. He gives you another one. Right. But it's a beautiful thing where you become more and more of who he created you to be that you would not activate otherwise. Right. So for you, like right now, can you sense what he's starting to lead you into? Um, definitely. Well, (laughs) I know without a doubt, um, a thousand percent that there are big things planned for my life and my ministry is like, you know, my business and a yeah. nonprofit I want to do later on. And, yeah. you know, um, but, and in my marriage and in my marriage is hard yeah, it is. <laughs> and, and in my motherhood and as a friend and all this stuff as a boss, oh my gosh, that's, Pretty you know, well. huge. Um, I don't know exactly what that is going to, look like I have some ideas but I think right now um God is really leading me into um as I mean I'm just gonna claim it it's like a a promised land for all of this you know walking around in the uh you know wilderness and losing my faith sometimes and but all the while actually now I'm seeing I was building and I was uh, growing. And I was letting God, you know, minister yeah. to me, even in, you know, when I was kicking and screaming. Yeah. Um, so now I believe for sure I've got a lot of that sustainability. We've, me and him have built this, you know, house together. And now I get to like pick out the furniture and, you know, like the <laughs> light pictures and totally like that. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It's hard. It's actually, I don't, uh, I have a hard time believing that like I'm allowed to be happy. Okay. And, okay. It's like a lesson okay. I've learned my whole life, you know, like yeah. I'm not, I don't deserve to be happy or, uh, you know, it's never really going to happen for me. Um, or there's always something and I'm, you know, it's going to not be okay. Um, and I truly believe that in this next season, I'm going to learn how to be, you know, content, um, and enjoy the fruit of my labor. Yeah. You're ministering to somebody right now. That's so powerful. That's actually biblical, right? It says that God will give us this gift. It's mm-hmm. from Ecclesiastes, right? Because like Ecclesiastes is talking about like, it's all vanity, right? Like, right? Like, <laughs> everything's vanity, everything under the sun, right? And you're kind of like, oh, this is deep, right? Like, <laughs> But it does say that God will give you this gift to enjoy the work of your hands, right? That's yeah. truly a gift of God. And so that could be, I would... Um, I would find that scripture specifically if you don't know that one. Um, let's see. Yeah, Ecclesiastes has always been like my favorite book. I'm trying to think. It's for the, you know, the. Uh, I've got to find what it is because I know there's one in Deuteronomy too. I got to find the ad- address and I'll text it to you um, and send you that message. But literally it's God will give you this beautiful gift to like apostle paul be content no matter what is happening so that you can fully be present when you're content you can be present when you're anxious you're like tripping about all the things right but when you're content you can be present but he also like allows you to enjoy what you're doing without waiting for the shoe to drop without expecting it to fail without you know what i mean 
really being worried about what can happen in some future time. He just lets you be all there and really enjoy it and embrace how full that is. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you get to do this work. Like you're living in your impossible right now. And like, why not soak in that for a minute and let that be okay before you're like on to a next big thing? Because this is a big thing. Yeah. This is the right? biggest thing. Like this is the biggest thing that you didn't even think about all those things. He's answering them now and you would miss it if you went to a different thing. Like you already okay. are being that beautiful mom that you wanted to be. You already yeah. are being that partner that you didn't know was possible. You already are now being this business owner and leader, not just an owner, but a leader. Like you yeah. already are. And it's like, it would not be a blessing to throw you into another thing where you miss the sweetness of what this is. Yes. And that's what it is. I'm yeah. all, it's always, you know, yeah. on to the next and, you know, climb another mountain and prove myself. And yeah, uh, yeah it's definitely, it's, a, yeah. and that's what it is a gift. I mean, the gift of God is, yeah. I couldn't come up with them on my own. You know, they're too good. Yeah. And it's like, we're always, when you think about climbing mountains, right? In between them are always valleys. Yeah. Right? So it's like, after the climb, like, enjoy the view for a minute. Because mm -hmm. you're going to have your next challenge in no time. Like, what I like to say is like, we're either coming out of a challenge, we're in one, or we're about to be in one. Mm -hmm. Like, that's kind of how well, life is. The, you know. Yes. Yeah. But like, if you can just learn to be content or be in your season and be all there, it's like, you'll fully embrace just this sweet connection with God and everything he has for you in every season, like in every season, there's something, but if we're always like on to the next, on to the next, on to the next, we miss it. And yeah. a lot of times when we miss it. We've got to repeat stuff. And there's just some pain that I don't want to repeat personally. <laughs> right. Like, let me my like, lesson, though. I like, let me get my lesson. <laughs> I did not want to repeat a lot of this. No. So, okay. No. So it's like and permission. He's gracious enough to not, you know, to give me full opportunity. That's the thing. It's like he gives the full opportunity over and over and over again if you didn't get it. Cause like yeah. he's not gonna let he's not gonna let you down, you know, give you yeah. what you need to yeah. have what he's got for you. Yeah. I'm just hearing that phrase for you. Like, enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. Yeah. I need, I need that. Enjoy the view. Right. I'm curious too. I told you this question was coming, but many, many years from now, right. When you're with Jesus and you can't leave anything that you've created here, which even as a creator, that can be something that's like, Ooh! right. But you can't leave any of what you've created here, but you can give a piece of advice that will totally alter the course of someone's life and make sure that they fulfill their destiny what would you tell them? <laughs> Your face right now. <laughs> I'd say go for it. Come on. I don't know. That's what I'm. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Go for it. I. I wouldn't learn the hard stuff or get the good stuff if yeah. I didn't. You know, if I just didn't believe that it could be possible, and I've. I've overcome the most impossible things. I have a flying pig tattooed on me because, you know, it's it's all possible even when um, you don't see a way. If it comes from your heart, where you know, and and you believe God for it, then go for it. Yeah, so good. It's so good. Remind uh, me what your name means together. What does your name mean? Because I know that you've done that exercise. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, this thing that I got one time, like from like one of those uh, gift shops or whatever, and they have like people's names and whatever. There was one my dad picked up for me right after I got sober. So crazy. And it yeah. had Evelyn on there and the description. I wish I had it right now. Uh, oh. It's amazing. But Evelyn is, you know, Eve, which is, uh, you know, beginning or life. Um or lights and uh I don't remember what Isabella is, but I definitely know and I'm like aligned with um the creative energy and light and life and the start of things and also the receiving and the enjoying and the other side of that, you know, which is just 
um, yeah, enjoying the, the view. Uh, it means this is going to be so beautiful for you. So Isabel is God is perfection. God is my oath. It means beautiful and mm -hmm. also God's promise. Wow. That's so amazing for you in this season. What I'm sensing is that God is bringing life to these areas of promise that you've desperately mm. longed for and fought for, warred for, contended for, for so many years. And you just get to enjoy the beauty of those in this season. It truly is a season of flourishing. It will be a season of harvesting, but you'll get to really embrace the fullness of that sort of like the stop and smell the roses mm -hmm. experience where it's like all of this beauty is around you but you'll be able to see it like life it's almost like in black and white versus in living color life will just be full of color and vibrancy for you and it'll be this beautiful reflection of who you are and the beauty that you bestow on people every single day but you'll be able to receive it in a way that you've never received it before and that fullness is the very thing that will turn into fuel that will launch you into the next when the time is right for that. But you get to fully embrace this as long as you need. It's almost like take as much time as you need. Just like fully live in this and be all here, be here now, really just embrace this because you have permission to prosper and have and enjoy your life until it overflows. So expecting that overflow, but not grasping for it and just embracing how beautiful it is because these are hard won promises that you're truly living in right now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I yeah. received that. Yes. And there is too. And I think you might've, I don't know if you went through this specific one, but there is in the courage co masterclass bundle, which you're in, there's, I believe it's a challenge and it's called permission to prosper. If you go mm. back through that now, I think you'll see it from a totally different lens. So I would go back through that one specifically too, and just be like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cause it'll kind of bring ease in your soul in a way where you can just be like, Oh yeah. Like this is obviously where we are. This is what God's doing. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to give all of my energy and life to that. I'm going to give it to this. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to go through like, and just have, you know, the God's vibes and masterclass and stuff and get on, you know, calls with other groups and stuff. Um, it's yeah. just, yeah, it's been truly just amazing I'm so appreciative of what you're doing in the world and I mean it's like it's special yeah it, it's it's good it's life-giving and um your heart is is so behind it so like powerful the the message that you have is so powerful yeah and I'm so glad I found you. <laughs> I feel the same way. I just want to, I just want to honor you too. Cause I think that you, whether you are aware of it or not embody humility and just God's expression, like you truly do. Like it's, it's God's beauty in its purest form. Right. And I think that that's probably something that you never, maybe you, you knew that was possible in you, but you never knew that you could just freely be that. And that's everything. And so I just want to honor you because you are truly living that today. And I think that gives permission to everybody you encounter that it doesn't have to be so hard that they're free just to be the unique beauty and expression of that in the world. And that's actually what works. That's how you unlock everything that's connected to your life is when you're just free to just beautifully be who it is that you are. So thank you for modeling that for people. It's truly a gift. Thank you. I love that. That's how our voice like felt, you know, and um, to be like allowed to, to feel that like, yeah. and, you know, see that, um, yeah. that that's being expressed to other people, um, makes me really happy. So good. So good. And now being like soon to be an alum, like you get to hang in the mastermind for a year. <laughs> so you don't just go through it for like three months. Thank goodness. Right. You can like continue to unpack it for a while yeah. but for anyone that is probably where you were that doesn't know if they should jump in. So we have our next round starting October 9th, right? So they don't know, should I apply? Should I get in there? Is God going to show up? Is this girl like tripping? Like, is she for real? Like, what what would you say to somebody that's maybe a skeptic or on the fence or like is sensing a tug of God, but not sure if they should jump or not? Yeah, well, I hope that whoever listens to this um, 
surely find some some words for them um and hopefully listening right now they they hear and feel the presence and love of god just like giving them that permission to like Amen. to live out their dreams and to be you know bigger than life and um whatever they're struggling with or going through or um you know need help through or can't see God in and like are desperate for him or, um, yeah, business life, anything like that. Um, marriage, um, depression, I mean, you know, mental health stuff, like all the things, um, dependence, codependence, this will truly change your life and you don't have to do it perfect. You don't have to go through this lesson, this lesson, this lesson, like, yeah. you know, and per- <laughs> like perfectly. And like, you know, you can show up to the calls and have a community, even if you never get on a zoom call ever, because your, your anxiety is so high or, and you don't want to see people, you never turn your camera on. Yeah. Um, this is the kind of place that you're going to be able to just turn your camera on and, um, yeah, Juliana has got some good stuff. You can get a lot of stuff from her free content. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, like it's really good. Uh, but being a part in the commitment, like you making the commitment, whoever this is for, you making that this commitment. Um, yeah, God will double for your trouble, like Juliana says, and um, He will honor that that commitment because how else? Could he, if that's your reasoning for it? So, um, yeah, if you feel peace, um, even if, you know, you're, I don't know, something, money or time or whatever your biggest objection is, um, it won't work for me, whatever. Um, that's like just all not even a contest i mean yeah. pray about it if you feel peace go for it yeah gotta make a way so good i love how can people connect with you and encounter all of the beauty that you are how can they go get beautified <laughs> yeah. um well my instagram is evelyn isabel aesthetics aesthetics with an e not an a um that's a that's a good place to find me i've actually got I'm growing my team right now to help me behind the scenes. Y'all, I am truly an artist and uh, everything on like, you know, admin and everything like that is kind of difficult for me. So right now I've got somebody making it easy for you to talk to me, find me, book an appointment. I'm in Tyler, Texas. Come get your eyebrows did. I am literally the best, Um, (laughs) you know. It's your face, you know, Uh, if you're struggling with, you know, something with your skin. Um, I like to take people, I like to give people every option and opportunity to age gracefully and like literally love themselves when they look in the mirror without doing, you know, Botox and filler and all that kind of stuff. I'm not against it. I'm just, uh, I think we should have fun and take care of ourselves and not have to do all this, like other stuff that makes us look like other people or, um, you know, doesn't work with our natural beauty. So yeah, find me on there. Right. Like you don't have to get on some sort of pattern of like doing these things all the time because then you just have a drug. Yeah. I mean, and like you could, it's all about it. Like find, find an esthetician, come to me if you're close. Um, or maybe we can connect on, um, virtual or something, but find, a find somebody you like and you connect with and um you know an esthetician and and start a relationship with them and and trust them put your your face in their hands and um I guarantee they will do the best they could ever do if you if you do that so if that's me then come on (laughs) yeah I love it no big deal just your face (laughs) yeah no big deal Well, and if they come to you, they'll get preached to, they'll get prayed for, they'll get basically bamboozled in the best way. Sometimes, not going to lie, you might get like me just 
maybe I, you're my therapist. Okay. I'm crying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those days are over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing your story. It's been an honor having you here. Thank you so much for having me. It's been awesome. Listen, if you are not plugged into Courage Co. yet, what are you doing? Courage Co. is a faith-based community off social media that you can access from your phone or your desktop literally from anywhere. It is a safe place and a sacred space for you to invest in and live your most courageous and impactful story. You can join us for free for prayer calls and challenges, for a monthly subscription where we have monthly masterclasses, or the God's Vibes Mastermind, where you will get live master life coaching at a price that you won't get anywhere else, 12 weeks of content that we will go through together, or you can navigate at your own pace. You'll have lifetime access to that, a community of women doing this alongside of you, a workbook, and so many other materials to help you on your journey. And I just want you to imagine for a second, having the courage, clarity, and focus to achieve anything you desire, walking into any situation, fully confident, knowing you have everything you need to succeed, embracing challenges and overcoming obstacles with grace and ease, feeling only love and compassion for others, no matter how they may have hurt you in the past. Standing up for what you believe in and taking unstoppable action to create the kind of world you want to live in. You're in the right place to take your next step on your journey. When you plug into the God's Vibes Mastermind, I'll teach you how to identify and eliminate the self-limiting beliefs and habits that are stopping you from getting the results you want. I'll teach you how to heal old wounds that have negatively impacted your self-image and self-esteem for far too long. I'll show you how to dismantle the story of who you are and what you can or cannot do in the world. I'll help you expand your consciousness from fear-based limitation to love and compassion and service to the world. I'll help you vanquish the inner enemies that are stopping you from being all that you can be. Release your victimhood and reclaim your power. Develop a aligned mindset and habits to boost your productivity and results. Gain deeper awareness of your own inner light and divinity and achieve the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual self-mastery needed to achieve any goal. You will learn how to think the way God formed, shaped, and anointed you to think and succeed the way he always intended and show up in any situation as the most powerful person in the room, no matter what challenges might appear on your path. If this sounds like something that you want to be a part of, I want to invite you to join the God's Vibes Mastermind. You can get plugged into it over at Courage Co. You can access Courage Co. at any level at www.courageco.org. Together, we will awaken your inner warrior spirit and unleash your capacity to achieve any goal you can imagine. You will become an example of what's possible with God.